and some contractors the way they handle the fumigation exercise for the federal capital territory Abuja. They don't accuse the officials of the Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, say they do fraud badness and then cheat business owners and banks inside the capital and uh, city. And uh, when I made a yarn to newsmen for Abuja and then present documents we prove say some persons been get command from the council to surcharge business owners and banks and while the money them then they directed to their personal account and not be the official council account. And one of the contractors, Terun Guabari Yan, say the federal government go sharply end the act in gas call on the chamo of the Abuja Municipal Area Council Abdullahi Candido to order. It has become apparent that the whole exercise is being single-handedly choreographed by the Honorable Minister of State for all the mobilization and toy we were made to undergo preparatory to the disinfection of the FCT flag of exercise, which can be best termed deceit from all intents and purposes, as recent events are playing out at this moment. Again, it is quite apt and pertinent to bring to the public notice and purview what another tire of the FCT government is doing right now in the municipality, which is at the best repugnant to the principles of natural justice, equity, and good conscience. The Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, is illegally extorting huge sums of money from our clients, whom we have since been servicing for years under the guise of COVID-19 pandemic disinfection. We want to make it crystal clear that AMAC cannot, as regulator, appoint a vendor, impose the same vendor on clients, fix the fees for the so-called service, and intimidate the clients into paying. The sad thing about this AMAC blackmail is that the money to be paid is to be paid not into the government account of AMAC, but into an individual's private bank account. We have many evidences, including correspondences from AMAC, to show in that respect.